four, then eight, then 16. This doubles fast. And you get what we named back at the birth of atomic energy, a chain reaction. And each one of those reactions releases energy. And given the kind of thinking that goes on in warfare, this wasn't simply a physics experiment that you write up in the journal. It was immediately weaponized to create a bomb. So it turns out uranium-234 doesn't behave. You can split it, but it doesn't shoot out extra neutrons on the other side. So you'll get the energy from splitting one of them, but you're not gonna create a chain reaction. Same problem with uranium-238. It's only the 235 that has this property. If you get enough uranium in one place at the same time and start the reaction, you light the fuse. If you want to make a bomb, you want to isolate the uranium-235 from the uranium-234 and 238. Most of the uranium ore is uranium-238. Not useful for you. About no more than 1% of the uranium that is mined is uranium-235. So you want to enrich that. You want just the uranium-235. Well, how are you going to do it? These atoms are mixed together completely. How are you going to pull out the one that's in between the other two? You use a centrifuge. Well, centrifuges don't work on solid matter. You have to turn the matter into a fluid. It's a homogeneous substance that takes the shape of its container. So liquid is fluid. So is gas. The study in physics of fluid dynamics is the study of objects moving through gas and liquid. The same formulas apply in both cases. Back to uranium. One way to do this is to turn it into a liquid, but it turns out 